welcome. E3 is welcoming everybody that is attending to our Diwali celebrations. Then we have Kanika Chadagupta, former CNN India News anchor, is the definition of a diverse female leader. After giving birth to her three babies within one and a half years, bless you, um, she decided to use mm -hmm. her background to help others facing sudden uncertainties of parenthood. Kanika now hosts the popular podcast, That's Total Mom Sense, which has amassed over 200,000 monthly digital streams and can be heard on major podcast players like Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Stitcher, as well as Dash, Radio South Asian station, Ruckus Avenue Radio. And Kanika, you spend most of your Diwali's in America. What are some of your fondest memories? Sure. So yeah, my parents immigrated here when I was two. And, you know, credit goes to um, both my mom and dad for kind of um, uh, exposing us to Indian culture early on. So my mom um, uh, found out about classes at a local Sunday school called India School. And so I really looked forward to our big Diwali recital every year. Um, and so there I trained in uh, Kuchipudi Indian classical dance, uh, Hindustani vocal music and, um, and Hindi. And there was, of course, tabla, harmonium, all sorts of classes. And so we put on this big um, annual function. And it was so spectacular um, to see all these young kids on stage, whether it was reading, um, you know, reciting poems or, or singing songs. Um, in fact, I, I remember one of the songs that I learned when I was nine. So I can regale you with a few lines of it, if you want to hear it. <laughs> yes. It the Valley song um, called Dia Na Bujeri, and it means um, let my candle not um, uh, like be put out. Okay. Dia Na Bujeri Aaj Hamara Dia Na Bujeri Aaj Hamara Chalri Pavan Sananan Sanan Thar thar kaape jiyara diya na bujeri. So I, I learned that when I was nine. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you. Thank you. I was nervous. Um, but I'm 39 now. And I guess, you know, what I'm trying to say is that uh, in 30 years, I haven't forgotten, um, you know, what, what I performed. And it's something that I'm looking to, to pass on uh, to the kids. And, and one more thing is um, I really look forward to just kind of exchanging stories and it kind of shaped what I do for a living now, um, you know, being a storyteller and podcaster. I loved when my nani would visit during the valley, my, my maternal grandmother, and she would kind of um, recount the stories of the Ramayan. And I do that with my kids now. So I have twins who are four and a three-year-old. And I remember... The tantrums are real, guys. If you have, does anyone have toddlers? <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, they're insane. So you always have to have some, you know, tricks and things that you're pulling out of your hat to get them to calm down. And so there was this one day at dinner, um, you know, they were sitting at their little table and they weren't eating. And I said, do you want me to tell you the Ramayan story? And so I sat and recited the story and there's so many layers from like, you know, we both know this and, and those who are Indian know, it's like the golden deer, Lakshman Rekha, mm -hmm. you know, Hanuman and the monkey army. And so I, I told them the story and now on uh, Diwali this year, at least my um, four-year-olds are gonna share their version. And, you know, they started with once upon a time, there was a king named Dashrath, he had yeah. four sons and it's, it's adorable to see them um, really just absorb what, what I grew up with and you know what kids grow up with in India. So it, it's come back full circle. Yeah. <laughs> what you did now you're watching your kids do. Yeah. That is absolutely beautiful. Kanika, I'm going to ask you the same question because you grew up here um, and now you're raising the second generation. Yeah. So are there and you already mentioned how some of the traditions you're already passing down that you used to do this recital and they're going to be doing their first recital. Now, what have you changed along the way and what have you in addition to them performing and them listening to the stories, have you kept the same? 
Sure. Um, I mean, I love how both of you kind of uh, shared how it's just about the togetherness and getting together um, with family and friends. And so that's definitely uh, Diwali for us, kind of having um, extended family, cousins. It's multi-generational. Grandparents, you know, toddlers, babies in diapers. It's um, mm -hmm. the, the, a huge range of age groups getting together. And um, I feel like that's something that's very much the same. Um, it's how we grew up too. And um, things that have kind of tweaked. So we are taking the day off. Um, I mean, my kids are younger though. I feel like when it's SAT prep, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. You can miss your AP classes and things like that. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so they're four and three, right? So uh, they're in preschool. So we're letting them take the day off. They're so excited about it. They've been talking about it for a week now, like Thursday, November 4th, the holiday, don't have to go, <laughs> you know? So they're excited about that. And um, and we're going to go apple picking that day. So totally random, uh, you know. We're fun. Kind of, yeah, our own fall um, family tradition, if you will. We can do that on, on the Valley, not as much rush. And um, you know it'll be it'll be fun, just a family outing. And um, I'm going to be going to the school tomorrow um, to do a Diwali event. And this really just came up organically. I was speaking to um, the preschool directors and said, you know, are we celebrating Diwali? Um, you know, and they said, no, we we, but we'd love to. So if you want to kind of pioneer it, um, go ahead. We'll support you. And so that's what we're doing tomorrow. It's going to be an outdoor function. Um, so many families are bringing food and sweets. And I am doing a book reading. I have that here. Um, it's called Twinkle Twinkle Diwali Lights, if you see it. So this is available on Amazon. Um, and there's so many Diwali books out there now, which is so nice to see um, that there's like kids books like this that they can enjoy. So I'll be doing a reading of that. Um, we have a choreographer coming to teach a dance. There's oh, fun. bia making. So they're gonna you know, do that with the clay pots, Rangoli. And, um, and one thing that I feel like is a tweak, but I'm so excited is we're gonna have all the children sing This Little Light of Mine, um, which a song they already know, you know especially uh, preschoolers. And that's really what Diwali is about. You know, it's about um, not allowing anyone else, any darkness, um, any metaphorical darkness, if you will, dim your light. We mm -hmm. all have a light within us and we should let it shine bright. And so we really wanna teach the kids that. That is so beautiful. You have a jam packed day for the next couple of days. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I know, yeah, I just, I took a lot of time off. So not as many Zooms this week, but you know, uh, it's good to celebrate. It's good to take that time. <laughs> that is beautiful. Kanika, what are your thoughts of putting your kids in? Like, do you have them wear um, yeah. kurtas or Indian outfits for the valley? I do. I mean, especially like, you know, in this pandemic life we're living. Yeah, we do look forward to it. I mean, you know, last year, you know, we were just kind of holed up. It was just our, our family um, at home, but we dressed up and it was fun. And I, um, you know, find outfits that are uh, like just cotton fabric or silk. And because I, I agree with you, Zarna, the ones that are itchy are no good. But um, but yeah, so my daughter especially loves dressing up. I mean, she says I'm an Indian princess, you know, and I, uh -oh. I remember growing up, um, we, we would say that too, my friends and I. <laughs> and we both uh, also participate in the traditions. But when we were in India, it was quite different where women took on most of the responsibility of decorating the house, cleaning the house and cooking. And men did some of the shopping work, like going out of the house. So that's what I remember from my childhood. I don't know about Kanika, you and Zarna. Yeah, I mean, I would say not that, you know, I want to stereotype or gender stereotype, but um, putting up the lights and stuff. Oh yeah, so it was all that, you know? and um, you know my in-laws, God bless them, do a lot of the cooking, um, and we'll kind of order uh, the starters. So some will say and matai and but like the main dishes. My mom-in-law and I'll I'll make a few too, and yeah, and we all kind of partake in the cleaning and the responsibility around that. But um, Zarna, I love how you mentioned that you know you kind of um, take charge and like 
kind of uh, like coming up with a tradition or, you know, something that's kind of a theme for the for the valley. Last year, um, because it was, you know, a very cold night and we were kind of stuck at home, we watched Mira. I don't know if there are any Disney junior fans, but our kids love Mira. I mean, it's like you, you have to subscribe to Disney Junior if you don't already. Um, but yeah, that was like a fun tradition. And I mean, it's hilarious to hear my youngest be like soggy samosas yeah. and be like mm -hmm. all the little things. Um, and even Sunil, my husband will come in and be like, we're on the case, we're on the case. And it's just, it's adorable. So I feel like there's, you know, always something new that we're trying to do each year. Um, this year it's our apple picking thing. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I think you just, you know, you have fun with it. But I know we're uh, wrapping up and uh, Floria, I know you're going to jump in. Any last about Diwali, about celebration and about sharing this with our such a fun group? Well, I just, I wanted to kind of um, share some of the few things about um, the three of us, because I think it's so significant that we came together to celebrate Diwali virtually um, and with the Meredith family uh, at that. Um, so I feel like the three of us embody the three E's. So Akruti is educate and she has her, um, you know, the products to do that. Here's another Rangoli thing. Um, <laughs> Darna is entertain, which she did, uh, you know, so beautifully today. Here's her uh, little hand sanitizer. It says good, clean, fun. So fun. Um, and Love then... It. I uh, hope to enlighten um, with uh, with my Mom Sense podcast, and I actually came out with a Diwali candle, um, so that's that here um, for this year. And so I'm just so happy that the three of us, as a trifecta, could celebrate with all of you. So I'll remember this forever. Thank you. Happy Diwali. Happy Aww. Diwali, guys. Bye. Happy Diwali. Bye.